recording. Okay, so uh, we are currently in Bab Lima, Leisure. Okay, and for the past classes, saya sudah uh, terangkan what is Leisure and how uh, bagaimana kita buat Leisure. Okay, so this is the format bentuk T which is Leisure. Okay, and then uh, when we are doing ledger, you always have to keep one concept in our head. Okay, apa concept tu? Which is the system catatan begu. Okay, what is system catatan begu? I have mentioned it many, many times, which is debit dan credit. Okay, you must know this debit credit. If by right, I mean now, if you don't know what is debit and credit, eh, then you really have to check again. <laughs> you have to ask yourself whether you should continue accounting or you should just drop it. <laughs> All right? But if you still don't know or maybe you just uh, you skipped last week classes or whatever happened, whatever reason was it, the solution now is you can go back to watch the recording. Okay, for, for Bab 5, Bab 5, all the debit credit, okay, you watch and do all the latihan that I give to you and if you do these two things that I mentioned just now, then the chances is you will know what is debit and credit at the end of the day. All right, so make sure you go and uh, check this out. All right, so debit credit, the system general begu, when you know what is debit and credit and how they work, definitely you can do ledger. All right, because it's not a big thing. Okay, then after all the ledger, all the buka account, inbang account, baki HB, baki BB, okay, then now we will be entering into account kawalan. Okay, and same in last classes, I briefly... Uh, introduce uh, what a uh, account kawalan is to all of you, right? Okay, so in account kawalan, uh, kita ada account kawalan belum terima and account kawalan belum bayar. Okay, so basically, you can see that this term is quite similar because you seen account belum terima. So what we're doing now is kita hanya tambah satu perkataan sini which is the kawalan. Ah, uh, so same thing for your account kawalan belum bayar. So is the account kau ah uh, belum bayar ABB, but now we add another word which is the kawalan. So now we got account kawalan belum terima and account kawalan belum bayar. Alright, and here is the format. And I highlighted to you that in the account kawalan belum terima, we don't use jualan tunai. Okay, no jualan tunai should be found in your account kawalan. No peruntukan huna ragu should be found in your account kawalan. And also no huna labur terbulik. These are the three things that shouldn't be found in your kawalan belum terima. Alright. And then for account kawalan belum bayar existing, belian tunai. All right, so it's very simple. You just have to remember these three things for your belum terima and one thing for your belum bayar. So as long as you see something that's related to tunai, belian tunai ke atau jalan tunai, you don't record in the account kawalan. All right? And the jalan here is actually the jalan credit. And the belian here is actually the belian credit. But why don't we put Jualan credit. The reason is because dalam account kita tak ada account jualan credit. It, it memang tak nampak pun, right? Because there is no such account. We only got account jualan. Therefore, we we hanya put account jualan. Alright, so that's the case for Berlin as well. Okay, so now let's go into discussion and let's do question number three together. All right, account kawalan belum terima. So take out your uno Okay, do question three. So 
So this account column belum terima because you see the account. So this one is something like your ledger juga. Alright, so you need to book up a ledger, a bentuk T. Alright, three, four, three, four. One line, and then the middle, one line. See it, and then here you put a title. Count, kawalan belum terima. So if you are not sure what to put, then I will list down for you now. So here is a tarik, just like your ledger, same thing. Buti run, folio, and the amount. So the same goes to your credit side. So, uh, okay, so first thing first, we start off with the Baki Dulu. Okay, the Baki BB. Be more specific. The Baki BB means the Baki Awak. In other words, means Baki Awak. But then, dalam account sini, kita guna Baki BB. The system. Okay, so, for account kaulam belum terima, when we are talking about the Baki BB, because account kaulam belum terima is satu asset. And you have to remember our Abali. So A for asset, B for belanja, A for ambilan, L for liability, H for hasil, M for modal. So the ABA lim. So the ABA is on the debit side and the lim is on the credit side. Therefore, an uh, account kawalan belum terima is a asset and so it is in the debit side for the baki so therefore your baki you need 2500 you see january first meaning this is actually your baki awal but uh, so your baki awal is in the debit side so debit sini you put the tarik okay first you put the year first 2020 and the ringgit malaysia need to have this uh musti when you all right so in the debit side, you put the baki awal, PB. So on the January 1st, number like January 1, baki BB, and how much? 2,500. So you put 254. Are you okay? If okay, you give me a one in the chat box. Bagi satu. All right, okay, so next, after the baki, now we have to throw in all this maklumat into the account kawalan belum terima. Okay, the maklumat will start from when? December 31st, meaning the last day. Okay, so now, let's look at jualan kredit dulu. Okay, so this jualan kredit, where should we put it? If you look back to here, where is it? The, the format. You can see that the jualan, I say this is a jualan credit actually. So the jualan is actually in the debit side. 
Why? Because when you have jualan kredit, actually jualan sedang bertambahkan or menambahkan baki account belum terima. Therefore, the jualan will be in the debit side. So here, the jualan. Okay, and but we don't write credit even though soalan sini cakap jualan credit. Nampak tak? But we don't put it because as I said earlier, there is no account nama account jualan credit. Kita hanya ada account jualan full stop. Therefore, here you put jualan. How much? 27,500. By the way, this is on December 31st. Okay, and if sometimes you, you scare, you confuse, or when you, later you want to do your revision, you want to look back, read back your buku nota, like this one, what you're doing now, in case you confuse yourself, then you can bracket here and put a credit. Right, I mean, like that, okay. Okay, you put a credit, you bracket. But if you just put jualan, credit, uh, then it's a bit, this is wrong. All right, this one is okay. This one, not okay. Okay, so cannot. So you put a bracket credit so that you know, oh, this is actually jualan secara credit. All right, and we know that always when there is a jualan secara credit, we link to account belum terima. That's why in account belum terima or account kawalan belum terima, we only accept jualan credit. And later you see a jualan tunai, can we put this jualan tunai or not? In our account kawalan belum terima. The answer is no. Why? Because jualan tunai doesn't link with ABT. All right, because since BAP2, if you remember, if you've been following uh, this class, since BAP2, persamaan per accountan, when there is menjual barang niaga secara credit, where do we record? We record with the account belum terima, ABT, secara credit. Tapi when kita ada menjual barang niaga secara tunai atau secara check, where do we record? We record in bank. You see, that's why mereka memang tak ada connection punya. That's why jualan tunai don't record in kawalan. And... When you look back to your format here, I say no jalan tunai. Do you understand? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. Okay. So next, after this one, after jalan tunai, okay, next, bayaran only ABT. Maksudnya ABT yang bayar. So when you see a bayaran only ABT, this is our bank. Okay. And how do you record for this one? Okay. Think ah, if your ABT, ABT means uh, your customer. In other words, your customer. So sekarang your customer bayar kepada kita. Your customer pay to us. Bayaran oleh customer. So, customer bayar kepada kita sekarang. Alright? So, when customer bayar kepada kita, what do we get? Kita menerima wang. Betul tak? When we menerima wang, maksudnya, wang masuk. We are getting money. We are receiving money. So, the money comes in. When the money comes in, if we want to record in our ledger, what do we do? Kita debit account bank. Betul tak? So, you, if you have to buka satu account bank kat sini, this is just a contoh. So, memang kita have to debit account bank how much? 24,000. Daripada ABT. Because this is via not only ABT. So, I debit bank and when I debit bank, because of the prinsip sistem cairan bergu, apabila kita debit, kita mesti credit. So, what do we credit? We will credit our ABT here, 24,000. You see now, that's why when we record for this 24,000 by around only ABT, we will have to record in the account kawalan belum terima. Can you see now, ABT and account kawalan belum terima is the same thing. So in the credit side here, we put the tak? December 31st, dari mana? Dari pada bank, 24,000. 
And if you look back to the format, you see that the bank is where? In the credit side of your account counting balloon terminal. So this is how you record for whenever you number other bayaran or lay ABT account balloon terminal. 24,000, you put a bank and 24,000 here on the credit side of your account counting balloon terminal. All right. Okay. Next. Okay. So when this happened, about below your account balloon terminal, your customer pay us back the money. Maksud apa? The baki for your account balloon terminal actually goes down. Kurang. So when they are kurang, we have to credit. Okay. So when you talk about pulang on jualan, tadi jualan we debit. But when it is a pulangan, jualan maksud, your baki kurang kan? Therefore, you opposite it. So, we put in the credit side to pulangan, jualan. Because jualan and pulangan, jualan memang tak boleh be in the same side. They must be opposite. Okay? So, this one very easy. 120. Okay, done. Okay, now you see. Hutang lapok terpule. Eh, hutang lapok terpule. I remember ke hutang lapok. Tapi sekarang ada terpule. Do you have to record it or not? If you look back to the format, the answer is no. We don't have to record for hutang lapok terpule. See ya. Nampak tak? Hutang lapok terpule? No. Tak perlu. So, we don't have to record. I don't care how much. Berapa ringgit? I don't care. But as long as dia nama hutang lapor terpulih, don't record. So, we skip it. Okay, are you guys following? If yes, you give me an F in the chat box. Tekan F. Okay. Continue. Alright. Then you see a discount D beri. Maksudnya kita berikan discount kepada account belum terima. Okay, when you see discount diterima, diterima maksud kita yang terima discount daripada account belum bayar. Tapi sekarang ialah discount diberi, discount yang kita beri kepada ABT, account belum terima. Alright, so when kita ada discount diberi, maksud apa? This discount is actually reducing our baki hutang, our baki ABT. Therefore, the discount diberi will be in the credit side here. Discount diberi. 160. Okay, you can see that here is you job lebih banyak secara credit, then your baki will go up. Okay, if you job lagi banyak, your baki will go up again. Bertambah, bertambah, bertambah. Because you debit it. But then, when selepas your ABT bayar, maksudnya the hutang, baki hutang will go down. So the credit is actually reducing, decreasing your hutang ABT. So when other pulangan jualan orang uh, your customer pulangkan the barang ni good then hutang lesser lah. When you bagi discount kepada your ABT lagi lesser discount I mean lesser hutang lah. You got what I mean? Alright, that's why it's in the credit side. Okay, next PHR. You see your hutang ragu even though you number hutang tapi it's not hutang lapo you cancel out. We don't have to record for this. I already given you. You see here no peruntukan hutang ragu. So three things, no jualan tunai, no hutang labu terpule, and no peruntukan hutang ragu. Three things, remember. Okay, so we skip that because we don't need to. Mm -hmm. Okay, then next. Bayaran angkutan dikenakan atas ABT. So this is actually angkutan. What's angkutan, by the way? Angkutan means... Shipping. Ch 
shipping fee. Just like what? Example, very common example. When you buy anything from Shopee or Lazada or Taobao or whatever, okay? When you buy things from the online, for them to ship or deliver or delivery fee, okay? For them to deliver the your parcel, your item, your makeup product, your shirt, you know, your K-pop album, okay, you buy, you ship to your house, to deliver to your house, you need to pay what? You need to pay delivery fee or the shipping fee, okay? So, same thing, we are doing business, so when kita jual barang ni aga kepada our customer or ABT, kita ada satu angkutan dikenakan, okay? Uh, a shipping fee will be charged upon the thing, all right? So when we got shipping fee to charge them, maksudnya, the hutang will go up lah. Okay, we charge them more, meaning we will get more money, right? So therefore, it will be in the debit side. So here will be your angkutan. Um, 70 ringgit. So debit. See it? So here, if you look to your format, is it this one? Yeah. So all the faedah diterima or here you can add lagi satu angkutan. You can put it here. Okay, actually is in the debit side. All right. Okay, next. Uh, what else? Faedah dikenakan. Ah, so faedah means what? Interest. Okay, how does it work? Okay. So, what is faedah dikenakan atas ABT? Example, let's say now uh, kita jual barang ni agus kepada Jeffrey secara kredit. Secara kredit maksudnya, uh, let's say Jeffrey buy um, 1,000 ringgit of shirt. Ringgit, RM Ringgit Malaysia. Okay, 1,000 Ringgit of shirt. Okay, we sell to Jeffrey. But Jeffrey already taken the shirts, baju tu, tapi belum bayar lagi. Is it? So that's why this is called a menjual barang niaga, menjual baju secara credit, Or we call it a jualan credit. So Jeffrey now is our account belum terima. Why? Because kita belum terima wang daripada Jeffrey. That's why Jeffrey is our account belum terima. Okay, now, maybe after a few months, Jeffrey still haven't paid us 1,000 ringgit yet. Hutang lagi. And that's it. So maybe on the charade there, before we sell the shirts to Jeffrey, I already told Jeffrey that, okay, if uh, Dua bulan nanti, you belum bayar kita lagi, then kita akan mengenakan a small charge. Satu panggil faedah dikenakan. You know what I mean? So, I will charge Jeffrey some interest of that amount that dia belum bayar lagi. So, now for this example will be 1,000 ringgit. So, after dua bulan, dua, dua bulan sudah lepas, tapi Jeffrey masih belum bayar 1,000 ringgit. Therefore, now I will have to charge Jeffrey another tambahan faeda or interest in English we call it. So, maybe another 2% based on this 1,000. So, 2% times 1,000 will be 20 ringgit. So, Jeffrey have to pay me 1,000 plus 20 ringgit as a faeda. Do you understand? If yes, you give me an F in the chat box for faeda. So now, what happens? Maksudnya, baki hutang ABT itu bertambah. So when bertambah, I have to debit lah. So in the debit here is a faida. So how much? Here the amount is really given. Faida, uh, 100 ringgit. So you can see that the uh, faida is in the debit side here. Okay, no. All right, so you see angkutan, there is a faida 100 ringgit. Okay, so ada lagi lah. Okay, so this one done. Lastly, the hutang lapok. 
Okay, what is a hutang lapok? Okay, come back to. Uh, let's continue with this story. Let's say Jeffrey, after two three months, okay, Jeffrey pun masih belum bayar lagi. Okay, and then suddenly, uh, you know, Jeffrey doesn't pick up your call anymore. Okay, you call Jeffrey to to to, and then straight away go into the uh mail mailbox. All right, voicemail. Okay, so and then you try to reach you, you, you Instagram, you DM dia, Facebook, you messenger dia, WhatsApp, you message, you even go to his house, Jeffrey punya rumor, and look for Jeffrey. Tapi Jeffrey dah ada kat situ. So, the chances is maybe a few days later, you dengar from your friends that, oh, Jeffrey sudah pergi ke Thailand. Dia sudah lari diri. So, dia sudah lari because maybe he got banyak hutang. Dia dah nak bayar balik. So, he ran to Thailand. But not ran, but what it means like he fly over, or maybe by ship ke, or by airplane ke, okay? But he really left Malaysia. So, I won't be able to find Jeffrey again. So, with that thing happen, so what we're going to do in our account is we will anggapkan Jeffrey as hutang yang lapok. Means hutang lapok. Meaning, hutang ni daripada Jeffrey, I rasanya memang kita tak boleh uh, kutipkan lagi. You know what I mean? So, we, we can't collect the money from Jeffrey anymore. So, when we know the fact, so that confirm, then we will anggapkan as a hutang lapok. Like here, hutang lapok. So, therefore, when you have a hutang lapok, is it a good thing or bad thing? Obviously, it's a bad thing. Bad. Because it's like a belanja. You tap tap a kuti 200 ringgit. Imagine your hutang lapo is 100,000 ringgit. 1 million ringgit. If two orang just hutang you 1 million ringgit and then they lari ke Thailand, they lari ke uh, Myanmar, you tak boleh collect from him anymore. Betul tak? So, that 1 million will straight away masuk into your hutang lapo account. Can you see it? So, a hutang lapo is actually reducing your baki hutang. Because the hutang you tak dapat boleh, you tak dapat kutip lagi. So, it will actually reduce, mengurangkan kamu punya hutang, baki hutang. So, therefore, your hutang lapo will be in the credit side. How much? 200 ringgit. So that's it. So remember, hutang lapok kita perlu record. Hutang lapok terpule tak perlu. No, don't have to. Peruntukan hutang lagu tak perlu. Okay, tapi hutang lapok you have the lapok word here, then perlu and it is in the credit side. Okay or not? If okay, give me okay in the chat box. Okay, all right. So after recording, after throwing in everything here, Kasini, into your account, kawan belum terima. The next thing is you have to tutupkan this account. We have to find the HP and BB. All right, just like your normal ledger. So what we're gonna do? Skip one line, and then here in your amount here, you put the one line double line. Ini, okay, where is it? One line double line. This one. Okay, so one line, double line. So this is like a jumlah. So then we have to compare. Is it the debit side lebih besar or credit side lebih besar? Just like your normal ledger. So now we just try to add up everything here. The debit side and credit side. So you can see that the debit side is lebih besar. Betul tak? This is 30,000. Credit side hanya ada 24,000. Okay, so therefore in the credit side, I will follow the debit side figure, which is 30,170. Okay, then here memang you need a figure to make it 30,000, right? Because I have to add everything in the amount. So you just use the jumla, tolak the 24,000, tolak the 120 ringgit, tolak the 160 ringgit, 
and tolak the last figure, which is a 200 from your hutang lapo. Then you get 5,690. What is this 5,690? It is our baki HB. What is baki HB? Baki HB means baki H stands for hanta, B stands for bawa. So baki HB means baki hanta ke bawa. So here bawa, we put a baki BB. So this figure, 5,690. And baki HB, kita tak boleh hanta macam from here to here. I slap your head first and I'll explain to you why. <laughs> okay? Because the HB, the hanta ke bawah, it must be from here cross to here. Just like your baki, uh, your, your system cadangan bergu. Debit and credit. You can never debit, debit, and credit, credit. All right. So here your HP is in the credit side. So you hanta, you have to hanta to the debit side. Do you understand or not? If yes, you give me a BB in the chat box. By the way, baki BB means baki bawa ke bawa. Okay. H hanta. That's why be hanta to the bawa. So 5960. So these two figures must be the same. All right, okay, so that's it. And then after December 31st will be the January 1st, right? Okay, January 1st, 2021, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to add one line. Them too. This will be your answer. Okay, so this is your final answer. All right, so account going to terima HB, BB. So this is your new hutang for your account kaulan belum terima or account belum terima. All right, it's actually the same thing. Just that uh, they, they make it like they sum it up and make it jumla like that. All right. So this is easier to control. So that's why it's called kawalan. You need to control your account volume terminal. All right. So this is number three. We're done with number three. Now let's do question number four. So your question number four will be your account kawalan belum bayar. So for your account kawalan belum bayar, it's actually very simple to do once you understand your account kawalan belum terima. Because account kawalan belum bayar is just macam satu mirror of your account kawalan belum terima. So if your account belum terima is on the debit side, then your kawalan belum bayar will be on the credit side. So what do I mean by that? So before that, let's look at your account first. So it will be your account kawalan belum hmm. Kaya. Kau kawalan belum kaya. So you got tarik butiran folio amount. Tarik butiran folio amount. Then the year ringgit Malaysia. Year ringgit Malaysia on credit side. Okay, so now to get question four. All right, so are you ready for question four? If yes, you give me a four in the chat box. Make sure you are writing down every single word here, yeah? So while we're doing it, make sure you do it also. Yeah, not just here to listen, but to do it as well. All right. Okay. So, twenty twenty. Okay, January first. Baki account belum bayar. So first, they, they start with the baki account belum bayar. So same thing on January first. This will be your baki. Ah uh, wow. Because it's January first, the beginning of the year. So it's our right early. Okay. 
Then your Baki hour means this is actually your Baki BV. All right. So same thing here. Tadi in your account column belum terima. This Baki BV is your Baki hour. And then we do, 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 do. And then we bring down here. This will be our Baki RQ for 2020. Let me review again. This is your Baki hour for 2020. And this is your Baki RQ for 2020. All right. And then for 2021, this will be your Baki hour. So you can see that actually, 2020 are the Baki Awal and Baki AQ. And then in 2021, so the 2021 punya Baki Awal is actually your 2020 punya Baki AQ is the same figure. So here your 2020 is how much? 2,500, let's say. So and then your 2020 punya Baki AQ is 5690. All right, 2500, 5690. So this 5690 is 2020 punya Baki RQ and also the 2021 punya Baki Awal because here in Awal. Do you understand or not? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. All right, so you see. So 2020, the first BB will be the Awal. The last BB will be the RQ for 2020. But then when we go to 2021, we start a new year. So here will be your hour. And then you do, 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 do everything for 2021. And then at the end, the last figure for 2021 for the Bucky BB will be your Bucky RQ for 2021. All right. So this thing you must know because later uh, you might touch on this thing. All right. Okay. So come back, come back to the question four. Okay, so your Baki account belum bayar, so this is your Baki awal, your Baki BB. And then because this is account belum bayar, if you want to use the ABB, this is our ABB, right? I mean, sorry, ABB, but our ABA LIM, all right? The LIM L liability is in the credit side. You see or not? And ABB is a liability, a liability. So a liability will be in the credit side. Therefore, your... Uh, Baki BB will be in the credit side, which is 4,000 ringgit. All right, so 4,000 ringgit. Baki uh, BB, this will be your first January, January 1st. So you can see that actually is opposite. So when you know, when you remember that the Baki BB for account government balloon terminus on the debit side, easily you remember that the balloon buyer, Baki BB will be on the credit side here. All right, okay. So after that, done this one, Berlian Tunai. You see the word Tunai or not? Berlian Tunai, Berlian Secara Tunai. Do you have to record? Tak perlu. Just like your Jalan Tunai. We don't have to record Jalan Tunai. You also don't need to record Berlian tonight and it is already written down in the format e2 all right so if you see carefully no balian tonight okay so next your balian credit do you have to record balian secara credit or balian credit the answer is yes you have to record and where do we record this balian credit so if you remember that the joint credit is the same side with your baki bb then you remember that the blend credit will be on the credit side, same side with your Baki BB. $12,800. Is it not? And if you remember that Jordan is in the debit side of your account current balloon terminal, then the Berlin must be in the opposite of the debit side, which is the credit side for your account current balloon buyer. So in accounting, Wait, it's not 12,000, it's 10,000, right? For credit. So if you want, you can put bracket credit so that you remember this is actually a brilliant credit. 10,000. So in accounting, what I want to say just now was accounting is 
simply using logical thinking. Okay, because accounting is very, very simple. If you compare to physics, chemistry, biology, okay, all these biology, chemistry, physics, or like what? Add maths, okay, they got a lot, a lot, a lot of formulas, concepts to understand. Okay, so for those that are doing uh, these four subjects, you know, isn't it? So for physics, let's say for physics, you got what law? You got Charles law, you got the Robert law, you know, the, the spring one, and then you got the Ohm's law, the electricity one. You got different, different law, isn't it? And then you go to biology, then you need to remember all the different parts of your body, this system, nah, that system, nah, respiratory system. Nah. And then after the system, you have to know about the, your what tissue. Okay, after tissue, you go to your cell. After your cell, you go into your, you know, all the, the digestive system, all the, the acid or blah, blah, chlorine, whatever thing. That's one thing. And then you, if you study chemistry, then you need to remember all the aeon charge, aeon or kaon, I've forgotten, or chemistry basically. And then if at maths, then you got the differentiation, integration, probability, different chapter got different concept but when you come to accounting only one concept debit and credit you don't have third option it's only either debit or credit so if you are not sure if you don't know if you know that this thing is not in credit side then they must be in the debit side because only two options so very simple one that's why when you know that the jualan credit or so John say your credit is in the debit side of your account balloon terima, then your account balloon bayar memang opposite will be the credit side lah. Takkan there is another, uh, what side? Credit side lah. Other debit and credit side lah. You don't have a, a credit or credit uh, or credit or credit, only debit and credit, isn't it? So, don't have to try to confuse yourself. Just use logic for accounting when you use your logical thinking common sense and your brain to think and figure out accounting then memang you can get your answer on all right okay so after this one billion credit ten thousand, you skip to pulangan uh billion. so pulangan billion. if you see uh, if billion is in the credit side then where would uh, your pulangan billion be definitely won't be here lah. If it is not in here, memang is in here already, lah, isn't it? So here you put your pulangan then. Five hundred. Isn't it? And you see pulangan belian must be the opposite with your pulangan jalan. They cannot be in the same place. Do you understand? If yes, give me a U in the chat box. Okay, after pulangan belian, discount terima. Okay, so all this discount pulangan is actually what? It's reducing your liability, your kawaran belum bayar. Okay, you have to know that this abalim, this chart, do for you, the A, B, A, balim. This thing is actually all about tambah. Okay, so if you if your asset bertambah, you have to debit it. If your belanja bertambah, you debit it. If your ambulance bertambah, you debit it. If your liability bertambah, you credit it. If your hasil bertambah, you credit it. If your modal bertambah, you credit it. All right, so the more you sell, the more you, example, the more you sell in BM, the more you draw, okay, secara tunai, let's say. So, I'm draw secara tunai, what, apa yang bertambah? 
your jualan because you jual right jualan bertambah at the same time when you just subscribe tunai what happened to your tunai your tunai will bertambah juga right so jualan bertambah tunai bertambah so when we want to record in our ledger if i open satu account jualan so when jualan bertambah tambah so hasil where jualan is hasil right so i have to credit my hasil here so here i put bank the amount and at the same time oh sorry this is tunai right so i put tunai but uh credit side on the credit side of your island. So at the same time, I have to book another account because of system channel bugu. When I debit, I have to credit. When I credit, I have to debit. So now I already credit my jualan. I have to book up account tonight and debit my tonight jualan. And here you can see that the tonight is actually an asset. And when your tonight bertambah, I actually have to debit my asset, which is here. I already debited. Can you see not? So accounting is everything is connected in here. Alright, so the credit, debit, all these things is there already. So what I'm trying to say here is that the ABA link concept, this one is actually all pertamba. So if your hasil pertamba is in credit, never think that credit means kurang or minus. Alright. Like in this case, I prove that credit is bertambah. All right, your liability. If your liability bertambah, you credit it. If your modal bertambah, you credit it. Okay, but what about berkurang? What if go lesser? So how? If it's reducing, very simple. You just change here to here and this abah to the other side. Basically means lim abah will be for the minus. So, if your liability berkurang, then I have to debit it. If your hasil berkurang, you debit it. If your modal kurang, debit it. If your asset berkurang, then you have to credit it sekarang. Do you understand or not? If yes, you give me a one in the chat box. Okay, so remember this picture. Okay. So now let's focus just on liability sahaja. Because we are doing the oh lah, we are doing account kawalan belum bayar. Isn't it? So now focus on liability. Because account kawalan belum bayar or account belum bayar is a liability. So if your account belum bayar punya baki bertambah, I credit it if my account belum bayar berkurang then i have to debit it can you see it so here so tadi i jual i mean i beli i beli banyak secara credit meaning i hutang right so the baki abb bertambah therefore i credit it can you see not but when i pulangkan barang niaga i i beli and i saw that eh Kenapa buku ini sudah rosak, koyak? So if that happens, I have to return. I have to pulangkan belian ini. So when I pulangkan kepada my ABB, so my baki for ABB actually goes down. Dia akan berkurang. So when I berkurang, debit it. That's why pulangkan belian is in the debit side. And then here, when I terima discount, discount diterima maksudnya saya yang menerima discount daripada ABB. So when I menerima discount maksudnya, I pay lesser. My ABB, my hutang becomes lesser. Dia berkurang. So when my account belum bayar berkurang, kurang, ini I have to debit my account kawalan belum bayar here. So this is discount D30. How much? 250. And if you check back, you can see that the discount delivery for account kawalan belum terima is on the credit side and then when you come to belum buy the discount determinant will be in the debit side opposite i told you if you look carefully everything is opposite of each other of each other means belum terima and belum bayar all right then after that your bayaran wang so now you bayar wang kepada your account belum bayar so when you bayar wang kepada your account belum bayar maksudnya the hutang for your abb berkurang dah 
because now you pay back the money, you return the money, so now you owe them lesser lah. Okay, or if you're not sure, you can draw account bank here. So when you buy a one, one kola, kola means what? You credit your bank. So when I credit my bank, automatically I have to debit another account, which is the account balloon buyer here in the debit side. I have to debit, and here I put bank. How much? 8,000 ringgit. So 8,000. And lastly, the angkutan dikenakan oleh ABB. So tadi ialah angkutan, kita charge mereka angkutan. Sekarang ialah ABB yang charge kita angkutan. So when they charge a shipping fee, the delivery fee, delivery cost, maksud apa? I have to pay more. Isn't it? So when I have to pay more, maksudnya, I hutang mereka lebih banyak. So I have to credit here and put angkutan. 350. So you see that, you see? Memang opposite of each other. Are you okay? If okay, give me a two in the chat box. All right. So next, everything done what? Right? Isn't it? So, same thing, skip one line, then one line, double line. Okay, so then you have to see which side is bigger. So here, I think 8,000 plus on the debit side, credit side. This one alone is really 10,000. May mom, credit side a little bit isn't it? So 14,350 for your Joomla. The beside credit side must be the same, the Joomla. Okay, then here I have to get the difference. So you use the Joomla 14,350 minus 500 minus 250 and minus the bank, which is 8,000. Then you get 5,600 ringgit. So this 5,600 ringgit is what we call the Baki HB. And when we have Baki HB, Hanta, Hanta must be to somewhere, right? So Hanta ke bawah you bring to here. Your Bucky TV. So 5,600 ringgit. So after December 31st, next day will be 1st January 2021. So here, here, 2021, January 1st. So the Bucky AQ for your account government belum, belum bayar for tahun 2020 is 5,600. Hey guys, okay. It's done, you give me a done. D O N E done. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is number three, number four, each question. We straight away know, like, let's say for question three, we straight away know we have to do a kangkawan belum bayar. Okay? And then for question four, we straight away know the, the solan sudah beritahu what a kangkawan belum bayar. Tadi belum terima, belum bayar. Okay? So, very, very senang, isn't it? Okay. But then, when we come to question five, ah, then everything really mixed up together. Then from here, we have to... Tengok sendiri, mana satu yang masuk dalam account belum terima, mana satu yang masuk ke dalam account kawalan belum bayar. Alright, so now, quickly, let's do it together. So you have to know like which one to the belum terima, which one to the belum bayar. Okay, so let's book out the account first, as usual. Let's draw one line, then the middle one line. After that, you skip like 10 lines, uh, at least uh, 8 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, then another one. Draw another line. 
Okay, so up here normally will be the account. Kawalan. Belum. Terima. Down here, we put the account. Kawalan. Belum. Bayar. Right? Okay. So, if you ask me, do we have to write tarik butiran folio amount? Tarik butiran folio amount. The thing is, when you know this is tarik, this is butiran folio amount, then you don't have to write it again anymore. All right? But when you're doing ledger, of course, the first one, the first ledger, you can put tarik butiran folio amount. But the rest, you can actually leave it empty. Okay, you can skip it straight away. You put the year here. Like for let's say this question is in 2021, right? So you can straight away put that 2021. And then the Ringy Malaysia 2021. Yeah, Malaysia. Okay, so now let's start. Okay, this is question a bit uh, more things, all right? As you can see, like quite long. Okay, and a bit different from what we did study. Okay, so let's look at first March first. So this first March is actually your uh, Baki Awal. All right, so this 31st March is your Baki Afil, all right? So this is your Baki Awal. So you can see all the Baki Debit. Baki credit, Baki debit, Baki credit. Is it not? And then you go to your Baki Akhil, there is Baki credit and Baki debit again. So if you don't know, you never did this kind of question before, you definitely be confused in your exam. Okay. So now you look carefully. Does it ledger Jalan first? And then there is a ledger Berlian. So ledger Jalan, Jalan, definitely you link to your account kawalan belum terima and then you berlian B for account kawalan belum bayar B. Okay, so you know that this ledger jualan is actually account kawalan belum terima. Here lah. Okay, but you see there is a baki debit and baki credit. So you just ikut saja. Okay, so when they say baki debit maksudnya in the debit side, you put the baki awal, baki BB. So March 1st. So you put Baki BB seven thousand one hundred forty nine. Okay, this is Baki debit. There is Baki credit as well for your ledger journal, which is your account government building terminal. So in the credit side here, you juga put uh, March first your Baki BB, which is your Baki awal juga, and this is ninety seven. So you can do the same thing for Berlian juga. So the uh, ledger Berlian will be your account current belum bayar. And then you've got Baki debit. Maksudnya in the Baki de the debit side, you put the Baki awal. Baki BB. Uh, one, three, five. And then... March first, Baki B eleven thousand and seventy. So you guys okay with this one? So if okay, give me a one in the chat box. So you just follow what the question say. So when they say debit, then you put Baki debit. When they say Baki credit, then you put Baki credit. Okay, but then. This is when other dual baki are oh, wow. like this question. But then if you look back to the question just now, they don't show you debit or credit. So you have to know automatically. But for the two questions we did just now, it's just satu baki oh, wow. Alright, therefore you can know. You just default ABT, debit side, ABB, credit side. But then when you got two, they will and they must tell you which one is debit, which one is credit. All right, so in another way, this is actually uh, a bit easier lah, okay, for you. Lah. So they straight will tell you where to put. All right, okay, next, next, next. 
31st March 2020, first one, Berlin Tunai. See Tunai Berlin, straight away, you know, out. Don't have to record. All right. Okay. Next, you terima check daripada pelanggan. So now, when you see the word pelanggan, you have to know this is actually an ABT. Maksudnya, you terima check daripada ABT, account belum terima, termasuk hutang lapor terpulih 2,400 ringgit. Okay. okay, first thing, you have to know that you terima check daripada ABT, meaning this one later I have to record as bank. I terima check daripada ABT, but this figure 26,589 telah termaksud 2,400 ringgit as your hutang lapor terpulih. And in our account kawalan belum terima, we know that kita memang tak perlu record hutang lapor terpulih. Maksudnya, this amount, I have to take out because telah termaksud, right, telah termasuk. So now I have to tolakkan 2,400 ringgit. And how much do you get? 26,559. Minus 2,400, you get 24,189. So this is the amount that kita terima daripada ABT. So when we terima daripada ABT, maksudnya wang masuk, I have to debit account bank. When I debit account bank, I have to credit my ABT here. So here will be your bank. And I put this figure, the one selepas tolak, 24,189. So this will be under 31st March, right? So you put 31st. So, okay or not? If okay, give me an okay in the chat box. So see, yeah, so you have to read carefully and understand what are you doing. Okay, so this is the term check about the ABT. So you put into ABT the bank. Okay, next you check yang D bayar kepada pembekal. So pembekal another term will be your account belum bayar ABB. So now kita bayar check D bayar maksud kita bayar check kepada pembekal. So if you think in terms of bank, you buy a maksud your wang keluar. When wang keluar, keluar means credit. So I have to credit my account bank. So when I credit my account bank, I have to debit my account belum bayar. So in your account, kalau belum bayar sini, here, you put bank. I have to debit it. I have to debit my ABB. How much? 21,762. So you can see that, same, it's opposite. Okay, next, discount debury. Okay, so you have to be careful. Huh? You, discount debury, maksud you have to mark, uh, include in belum bayar. Right, debury. Uh. Debury, debury. No, no, no. Debury should be in the belum terima. All right, because kita berikan discount. So you have to see carefully. Yeah? So sometimes I will get confused as well. So make sure you understand the term. Discount, diberi maksud kita yang berikan discount. So who is the one that can give discount? Orang yang jual, the seller. So the seller will give discount to the customer, the ABT account kawan belum terima. Therefore, this discount diberi will be in here. Alright? And when we Berikan discount, maksud kita mengurangkan account belum terima. Therefore, it's in the debit side of your account kawalan belum terima. So here you put discount, debury. Uh, 410. So this much to first. Okay. After that will be Berlin credit. So Berlin social credit, yes, okay. Berlin will be in the account current balloon buyer. And Berlin credit. So Berlin is actually menambahkan your hutang, isn't it? You menambahkan your hutang. So for your liability, maksud you have to credit your liability, your account balloon buyer here. 
So here will be your boolean. Uh, how much? 31,773. Lepas tu discount determiner. Discount determiner means kita yang menerima discount. So when we menerima discount, we will pay the account belum bayar lesser. Therefore, it will be in the... Okay, wait. This discount delivery should be in the credit side, isn't it? Discount delivery, sorry. Because when your ABT kurang, actually I have the credit, isn't it? So here, okay. And then for your discount, yang kita terima daripada ABB maksud kita punya hutang kurang. When hutang kurang, yang lebih kurang, then I have the debit. Ah, then only debit here. So this is for your discount. D terima. Is it trend yeah. So you can see if you check back to your format, the format that I give to you here. So you can see that the discount library you see is in the credit side, the bank in the credit side, and then for the account, uh, kawalan belum bayar, you see the discount determiner on the debit side, the bank is in the debit side, the bullion is in the credit side. So it's somehow sudah tetapkan. It's fixed already, right? But you can either use as a uh, use it as memorize to memorize, okay? Or you just understand it, understand the logic behind it, and then you just do it without memorizing, okay? Then, uh, okay. So next will be your Jalan Tunai. I told you the Tunai thing, Jalan Tunai thing. We don't have to record, okay? Now next, kita ada check talaku. Okay, when kita ada check talaku, and this check talaku normally dia uh, berlaku in your account kawalan belum terima. Alright, so when we have check talaku, I have to debit my kawalan belum terima. So here, you put bank. Okay, because check memang link to your bank. I told you many times, when you see check, check means bank. So when you get the other check talaku, maksudnya bank yang perlu di uh, credit kan. So here you bracket check talaku so that you know this is actually check talaku. Uh, how much? Forty three thousand. Okay, forty three thousand. Six hundred thirty-two. So much. Okay, then the discount. Then at the same time, normally when other check talaku, you will link with the discount dibatalkan. So here will be discount delivery. Discount delivery, and then here you bracket dibatalkan. So this is how you record for this one. Dibatalkan. Much uh, one thousand two hundred twenty eight. Okay, so what's check talaku? So check talaku means kita terima check. Okay, kita sudah terima check daripada kita punya ABT. So when I terima check, now I go to bank and bank in. Tapi bank cakap check ini tak boleh. Either sudah rosa, goya. In sudah lari atau apa? Okay, so they don't accept the check. So when they don't accept the check, maksudnya one that you see the numbers that you see on the check tak laku, meaning they can't bank into my account. Maksudnya I don't, I actually doesn't, uh, don't receive any money from my ABT. So when that happen, I have to bring out from my ABT. All right, because at first. Let's say your bank, then when I receive the check, I will record that I receive money and I have to credit my ABT like this one. I credit my ABT. But then sekarang, the check that laku, then I have to add back into my baki BB. So that's how it works. All right. So at the same time, the discount will be dipatalkan. All right. So it will be in the debit side. So if you look at your format, you see that the check that laku 
dan uh, apa the discount dipatahkan is here in the debit side of your account current balance terminal. Okay, so next put uh, pulangan balance so pulangan balance will be in the account belum bayar lah. Okay, and the pulangan balance is here in the debit side because balance is here so opposite pulangan balance. Right. Okay. Then you go hutang lapo, hutang lapo memang in the account kalau belum terima, and it is in the where in the credit side hutang lapo, because it actually mengurangkan kamu punya EBT. Dan lapo uh, two five nine two. Okay, then faedah dikenakan kepada pelanggan. So, itu yang pelanggan means ABT. Maksud, there is a faedah dikenakan kepada ABT. So, when there is faedah, you put in the debit side of your ABT. Faedah. We can put faedah di terima lah because this is from kawan belum terima mah. So, di terima. Okay. And then pulangan jalan, if your pulangan belian is here, then your pulangan jalan memang is here lah, isn't it? So your pulangan jalan in the credit side, how much? 64. Okay. Then kita ada angkutan dikenakan kepada pelanggan. Pelanggan means ABT. So, other angkota means the delivery fee, the shipping fee. So, it will be in the debit side of your ABT. All right. So, angkota. Uh, one hundred and sixty-five. Yeah. Then we got another pulangan jalan. So, same thing. This is a pulangan jalan or jalan. Pulangan jalan. But then, how come we don't have jalan? Okay, hold on for a while. But it's just weird that we don't have Jalan here. Okay, don't care. So you just put a Pulangan Jalan here. Hold on now, give me a second. You see any Jalan or not? Because it cannot be without Jalan. Okay, never mind. You just change the word. Okay, you just change um this term, pulangan jalan, this one. Okay, you just cancel this word, pulangan. Actually, this is a jalan. You just put a jalan credit here. Okay, you put jalan credit. Uh, jalan... It doesn't work that way also. Uh. Oh, okay. Hold on for a while. Okay, let's see how it goes. Uh. Okay, so you just remain it first. How come the questions are there? Let me see. Did I change anything before? Okay, just leave it like that first. Pulangan John. Let's see later how it goes. Okay, so your Pulangan Jalan. So you put back pulangan jalan here. So just put it, leave it there first. Pulangan jalan. 421. Okay. Then you got angkutan dikenakan oleh pembekal. Pembekal means your ABB. Kamu belum bayar. So angkutan dikenakan, it will be in the credit side. Alright. So it must be opposite, right? So angkutan for your... ABT will be in the debit side. Your angkutan for your ABB will be on the credit side. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much? 442. Is it? No. 91. Eh? Yeah, 442. 442. Okay. After that, we got Pindahan Dari 
Lejer Berlin ke Lejer Jordan and pindahan dari Lejer Jordan ke Lejer Berlin. Alright, so this pindahan, whenever you see the word pindahan, this is actually means contra. Write it down, contra. So you don't care whether this is a pindahan dari Berlin to Jalan atau Jalan ke Berlin. As long as you see a pindahan, straight away you know this is a contra. And when this is a contra, all right, then very simple. I think this is not enough space, right? So what you're gonna do is you credit your account current balloon terima, and here you put contra, okay? But before that, okay, I changed my mind. So this one, you change this question to Jalan credit. Okay, so this is Jalan credit. Maksudnya, you put here Jalan. All right, so your Jalan, how much? Uh, 431. So you, you, you change this one first. Jalan. Okay, make sure you put the Jalan to here, 421, because this is Jalan credit. I think I missed out the Jalan credit or maybe some typo from here because it's impossible to have two pulangan Jalan here. Okay, so you put the Jalan, 421. Have you changed it? If yes, you give me a J in the chat box first. The gun J in the chat box. So you know Jalan credit is in the debit side of your current balloon terima, right? So it's the opposite of your balloon, all right? See balloon on the credit, join in the debit. Okay, so after that, come back to this pindahan. All right, so when you see a pindahan, it means contra. So whenever it's contra, right, you get the credit gun our account kawan belum terima. And then get the debit gun kawan belum bayar. So this is how it works. All right, so you credit gun your kawalan belum terima, you debit gun your kawalan belum bayar. So let's say this one, pindahan dari billion ke leja jualan, 91. All right, so here you put 91. Here you put 91. Okay, you credit, belum terima, debit, belum bayar. Okay, another one. Pindahan dari leja dari jualan, Pindahan dari Leja Jualan ke Leja Berlian, 1, 2, 9. Same thing, pindahan, kontra. So, you credit, your belum terima, heard you put 129. So, here you debit, your kawaran belum bayar, here you put 129. Also. So, kontra sudah fix. It's always on the credit side of your belum terima, and the debit side of your balloon buyer, no matter what it says. Is it from Berlin to Jordan or from Jordan to Berlin? It's the same thing, like that. All right? And what does this contra mean, actually? So this contra is actually like, um, how do it work? It's much like too. So let me give you a short explanation. So let's say we are doing uh let's say i sell baju this is my business I job baju and then uh this is me okay and then jeffrey so jeffrey is selling kasut shoe okay, a bit chat chat all right okay so i sell baju and Jeffrey sell shoe. Okay. And then at the same time, because we got our own shop. My shop, let's say I call it um, a Bajumi. This is the name of my shop. And then the name of the shop of Jeffrey is called, let's say, a Nike shop. Okay. So now, because I got, uh, I got my own shirts, all right. So, and at the same time, I'm selling shirts. To Jeffrey, I sell shirts.
to, to Jeffrey. All right, because Nike store, then he wants to have some shirts, you know, to sell at the same time. Okay. And Jeffrey sells shoes to me. So, maksudnya saya, I sell shirts and I buy, I buy shoes from the same person. So, the same person, Jeffrey, is sell shirts, meaning he is my account volume terima. So, child credit, I, I just your credit to Jeffrey. So, he is my account volume terima at the same time because I believe barang yang daripada Jeffrey. So, dia adalah saya punya account volume Buyer. All right, and at the same time, I'm selling shirts to Jeffrey secara credit, and I beli kasut daripada Jeffrey secara credit juga. What does secara credit mean? Meaning secara hutang. I give him shirts, but I haven't collect money from him yet. Belum terima lagi. Okay, and then I take shoes from Jeffrey, but belum bayar lagi. I haven't paid him yet. So now, let's say my shirts here is. Um, around 1,000 ringgit. Okay, but from the shoes here, it's just about 800 ringgit, yang saya beli. You know I mean? So, I draw 1,000 ringgit. So, sekarang Jeffrey hutang saya 1,000 ringgit. And at the same time, because I beli 800 ringgit of shoes from Nike, so saya hutang Nike I mean, I hutang Jeffrey 800 ringgit. So, takkan, I mean, you can do that, but a bit of, uh, a bit lazier, right? You need to transfer 1,000 ringgit to Jeffrey. Lepas tu, Jeffrey need to transfer 800 ringgit to us. I mean, since saya hutang Jeffrey 800 ringgit and Jeffrey hutang saya 1,000 ringgit, so I can actually contract it off. Maksudnya, Jeffrey just have to pay me how much? Just have to pay me the 200 ringgit because uh, Jeffrey hutang saya 1000 ringgit and saya hutang dia 800 ringgit. So at the end, 1000 minus 800, Jeffrey have to pay me 200 ringgit. So this is what we call the contra. Do you understand or not? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. So this is what you call contra. So it actually is the same thing lah. like in your school, let's say you help your friend to buy. Uh, chicken nugget from the canteen and at the same time this uh, friend is someone you borrow money from last week you haven't paid yet so you tell hey bro control uh. so last week I owe you uh, five ringgit and here I pay for your, your chicken nugget uh, three ringgit like that then uh, later I pay back another two ringgit so this is what we call contract so same thing so you bring back to here so this is the whole thing the contract thing is it? So that's why you will see that in your account balloon terima, there is a baki awa in your credit side. Meaning the same ABT, okay, is actually our, like Jeffrey, our account balloon buyer. I owe him 97 ringgit because of contra. That's why you got a baki BB for debit and credit side. All right. So, uh, yeah. We left with this part. So here, look at this one. Baki credit dalam ledger jualan. Meaning your account belum terima, there is a baki credit. Baki really means what? In the credit side, we got baki PB. So how we're going to do this is, you skip one line, then you put a one line, double line. One line, then one line, double line. You don't do anything first. Just do a one line, double line. Okay. So yeah, the Baki credit, this credit means is referring to your Baki BB, always to your Baki BB, not HB. Okay. So your Baki credit in your Lady Jolan, your account balloon terima, Baki credit means your Baki BB. So here, your Baki BB in the credit side. Can you see it? I put my Baki BB in the credit side. And it is 115. All right, meaning this Baki BB is after your Jumla. So when there is a Baki BB, it must be from where? From your HB. Therefore, there is a Baki HB here. So this 
kind of like a work back. So your VB, meaning from where? From HP. So this HP must be the same figure as your 115. So same thing for your kawalan belum bayar. So your ledger boleh means your account kawalan belum bayar and it is baki debit. And this baki debit is referring to your baki BB. So same thing. Leave one line, then uh, double line. And then double line your jumlah. Okay, so this is baki debit, right? Meaning your baki BB should be in the debit side. So baki BB here, uh, 240 ringgit. So when you have BB, there must be a HP here, 240. Okay, then only you jumlahkan and see which side is bigger. See if they inbound or not. Okay, so let's say like that, jumlahkan, debit and credit side. And you see, eh, debit side is a little bit isn't it? So now, on your credit side here, okay, it equals to this figure, 53,033. So now, here, you use the jumlah 53,000, just like how you did just now, minus all the figure. On your credit side from your 97 ringgit until your contra. So you get 25,461. This 25,461 is your baki HP. So same thing when you have HP, there is a BB jugger. So here. So this BB will be from this one, 25,461. By the way, this is uh after March 31st will be April 1. Okay, so same for this one. So, I think credit size is a little bit better. All right, so here. Then, jumla here, 43,000. So, here you use the jumla minus all this figure. Then you get 20,961. All right, you use this one minus all this one. Okay, you get 20,961. 20, this is your Baki HP. And when we have a HB, you must have a BB. 20,961. So this is pro plus, pro plus. That's it. So this is how you do this question. So you need to be careful with all this baki credit and debit. Remember, this credit is always referring to your BB. All right, not your HB. Never refer to your HB. Your HB will be referred back from your BB. Okay, are you guys done? If yes, give me a done D-O-N-E in the chat box. So no worries after this. So this will be as your reference. Later, I give you homework. You do, then you refer back to what we have done here. All right, so it's actually very simple. You just have to catch it, then you do more practice on it. Okay, so see that a lot of you have done already. So I will give you homework now, then you may leave. Okay, so you open your page 112. So one, this page 112 will be uh, all about what we have learned today. Lah. So you have to do question 24, question 25, question 26, question 27. All these four questions. So I, I remember that the 24 and 25 is the easy one. So they tell you like this whole thing is for Balumbaya. This whole thing is for but for 26 and 27, I think they mix together like this question that we did just now. Like this question, uh, question five. All right. Okay. And then after that, another one extra question, you go to page 101, do question eight. So this question eight is actually the ledger and the book of 219. All right. So make sure you complete these five questions. Write down and then do it. Okay. So... Uh, I think that's all for today, okay? And then I will see you in next class.
Alright, so goodbye everyone. Take care.